faster than you can blink. And that was 75 milliseconds. Now, come on, quicker, quicker. Right, I'm ready for a race. Here we go. Can it change gear faster than I can blink? Are we ready? Ready? It can! In addition to the computerised gearbox, it's got silicon brakes and an electronic differential. Then there's this switch. Uh, when it's here, the traction control is on. When it's here, it's on a bit less. When it's here, it's off, but the stability control is still on. Then, if I put it here, big beep to tell me everything's off. And now the suspension's been firmed up, but I can make it soft again by pushing that. And if I had a side parting and adenoids, I'd find all this very interesting. I'd come round to your house and tell you all about how it works. Even the shape of the body is computer designed with speed in mind. It has winglets at the front. And at the back, there's an under tray which sucks you onto the road as you go along. So, the faster you go, the more grip you have. One of the things that really annoys me in, uh, in most cars is that there are no slats at the back to vent air out of the rear wheel arches, which, of course, increases pressure and slows you down, but in this, it has the slats. <laughs> Oh, yeah, definitely. All this speed is as a result of those... Actually, that is quite a lot of speed. <laughs> yeah, that, that was quite a lot. I wonder if it comes with bog roll. I'm doing this road test all wrong. Cos I'm mocking all this technology. And that's not really fair. It's not like Ferrari aftershave or that stupid carbon fibre crash helmet they'll sell you to match the trim of your car. That stuff's for idiots. I want, I want the computers, but I, I don't want them to be the be-all and end-all of everything, like they are in the standard 430. I want them to be there, but, but hidden away, buried under a, a big, thick layer of something else. And in the Scuderia, they are. <laughs>